All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you play 8K60 streams from YouTube on your new Mac Mini M1. This will also be the same as well for the M1 variations of the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna show you a video that I've got which is done in 8K60 for its highest stream. So I'm just gonna play the 1080 version here. And as you can see, this is actually running in Safari at the moment. So let me just double confirm that. So Safari, there we go. So we're on Safari right now. As we can see, that's playing perfectly well in HD 60 or 1080 60. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to bump up to 4K initially. So here we go. So this is the stream playing in 4K on Safari. As we can see there, it's just not having any issues at all. That's playing perfectly fine. However, when I go to 8K, watch what happens. So it'll take a little bit of time to buffer here. It has to pre-buffer a little bit more to do with the 8K stream. So it'll start playing, then it'll stop. And as we'll see, it'll kind of start again. It'll do a few more frames, then it'll stop and stuff. There we go, stopped again. Now you might think that's buffering. Well, it's not. If you have a look down here, in fact, if I go full screen, if you see here, there's definitely enough look ahead buffer already in the buffer for it. What's happening here is the the machine's basically just struggling to decode what's in front of it. So it can manage a few frames and then it's just kind of throwing its hand in a bit and it can't do the rest. It'll then render a few more frames, be able to play that, but then it runs out of kind of energy or process and power to do the rest of it. Okay, now what I will do here, I'll pause that, then I will switch over to Chrome. Now got the HD same same video here in HD on Chrome so let's play the HD one and just as it did with the Safari it's gonna play fine so that's all good now what I'm gonna do is change that stream to 4k there we go again it'll buffer a little bit then start there we go so 4k stream that's all well and good and all the rest of it now if I go to the 8k stream and don't forget this is 8k 60 frames per second as well it's going to take a little bit longer once again to do the initial buffer i see that was quite quick and then it'll just carry on playing there we go right and if you have a look in fact i'll go full screen here if we see here it's definitely got enough read ahead buffer already in there so it's pre-buffered enough ahead of it just as it did do when it was on safari but this time round, it's playing it all properly in real time with no stuttering and no stopping. Now, I can only surmise here that this is because the filter that's being used or the decoder within the browser on Safari just isn't as good as the one that is in Chrome. So obviously what we're seeing here is that Chrome is able to decode the 8K stream perfectly in full screen here and it's all going mad tickety boo good <laughs> anyway this was just a quickish video just so i could inform people of the best way for them to view youtube content and it is to use the chrome browser to do that especially if you want to start doing the 8k streams now i know some people are going to be sitting there and thinking hold on a minute dave you're talking about 8k 60 video on a device that can't possibly play it natively anyway as in a macbook air or a macbook pro can't even play 4k the screens are not 4k let alone 8k and obviously depending upon what you've got your mac mini plugged into it can't go above 6k either well the simple thing here is if you've got the internet speed if you play these high resolution versions of anything even if you're only on a 1080 monitor you will definitely get the best looking picture that you possibly can so even though i'm on devices which can't view 8k properly i play the 8k streams because it's always the best looking picture that you can possibly get so if you've liked this video then check out some of the other stuff that i've been doing with me mac mini because i'm going to be doing a lot 
more stuff to do with this M1 chip and all the rest of it. And if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've really liked the video, then please subscribe to my channel. And if this video has blown you away with information that a lot of other people may think is pretty superfluous and possibly uninteresting, then please get all over that bell notification icon thing and be informed of future videos. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.